Is that tough on you? It's going to happen. I think I have more unlisted phone numbers than any two or three or four sports writers. What can I do for you, Sid? How's that hand now? Any problem with it? No problem at all. I think over the years, one reason I've had success in the newspaper business and radio is that people trust me. And I think you got to have those backs in the game. they got to get the feel. Hopefully, this is a game where we can uh, go over the hump. Sid is an asset to this community, has been that way since 1946. Can we talk to you, man? I think he's the hardest working uh, person in the whole uh, media business that I've ever met. It's fair to say Sid Hartman was appreciated, not always loved, but certainly respected for loyalty and an incredible work ethic. He wrote his first column on September 11th, 1945 for the Minneapolis Daily Times the same newspaper he sold on street corners as a boy. Sid grew up poor. His father was an alcoholic. Tough drinker, and at night he drank so much he'd go out in the garage and sleep in the truck when it's 15, 20 below. I'm pretty hard on my mom. He credited a lot of his success as a sports columnist to the relationships he made, relationships that lasted a lifetime. Um, I remember my grandparents drove me down from Superior um, I arrived, they, dump, they dumped me off at Cook Hall and uh, my bags and I walked in and the guy that pulled up next to me was Sid Hartman. Bud Grant was fresh out of Superior High School in 1946 and was a poor college student at the U of M. The two became fast friends. So Sid and I a lot of times would eat together and, and he always bought by the way. Fast forward some 48 years to 1994 when Bud asked Sid to be his presenter at Grant's Pro Football Hall of Fame induction. An incredible honor, and Bud never minced words about Sid's impact on Minnesota sports. I think you're going to miss Sid when Sid's not around. I mean, more than you can possibly imagine because he is the, the historian. I don't think people can envision Minnesota sports without him. It's been that way for 70 years. Chad Hartman is Sid's son. He grew up following Sid onto fields and into locker rooms. Chad believes Sid lived a long life, certainly because of his work ethic, but he says it was never one over the other. I never questioned how much he cared for the family. Yeah. Not a single time. Can you drop me off the airport? Absolutely. That's Absolutely. pretty good. Sid's loyalty was never in question, not by his close personal friends, who over the years grew old with him. I love Sid Hartman. He's a huge part of our, our state, a huge part of our university. And Sid's loyalty to the Gophers, Minneapolis, and Minnesota sports in general will always be his lasting legacy. He always said he was the luckiest man in the world. And people walk by that statue. As generations go by, more people won't be familiar. But when they hear that and they realize those teams and those buildings and the University of Minnesota, how essentially was to that, um, he's going to be remembered for a long time. Thank you for that, Randy. Well, a lot of people are posting tributes to sit on social media. Andy McDonald is uh, here to share some of those. Hi, Andy. Hey, thank you, Chris. Everyone seemingly has a Sid Hartman story. Those stories and an outpouring of kindness took over social media this afternoon for the late iconic sports writer and columnist here in Minnesota and his impact on the community. His son, Chad, said on Twitter, my father's extraordinary and resilient life has come to a peaceful conclusion surrounded by his family. Longtime strip columnist Pat Royce, he said, the fact that he was 100, we're shocked, tells you that all he needs about his relentless drive, so shocked that I still was making subtle jokes about Sid on Twitter this morning. And former Strib writer as well, Steve Ashbrunner, Sid Hartman made his bones back when sports columnists could also function as a local team's GM, any Lakers fan, celebrating their 17th NBA title this month, including the five in Minneapolis, owes a nod to Sid. Hartman helped bring the Lakers, like you know, to prominence here in Minnesota before moving back to Los Angeles. Back to you.